Good afternoon. Welcome to the 2024-2025 academic year here at the Eastman School of Music of the University of Rochester. I'm so glad to see all of you. I've, I've enjoyed getting to know some of you already, but I'm new here, so let me introduce myself. My name is Kate Sheeran, and I'm very proud to be the Joan and Martin Messinger Dean here at the Eastman School of Music. So whether you're a returning student, faculty member, or staff member, or like me, you're new here, I'm so happy you've joined us this afternoon. Uh, before I begin, uh, before we begin the, begin the program, I'd like to offer the following land acknowledgement. We acknowledge with great respect the Seneca Nation, known as the Great Hill People and Keepers of the Western Door of the Haudenosaunee Confederacy. We take this opportunity to thank the people whose ancestral lands of the Eastman School of Music of the University of Rochester currently occupy here in Rochester, New York. So as I hope you can tell, I'm very happy to be with you. My first as Dean here at the Eastman School of Music of the University of Rochester. And I wanna thank you all for your warm welcome, which I have felt from throughout the community even before I got here to campus in July. It's an honor to be back at this place that means so much to me and for the opportunity to lead this school into the second century with you all. And most of all, it's an honor to work with all of you, the students, the faculty, and the staff, because we can make things happen together, things that none of us could do on our own. That's why I wanted to start the new tradition of opening our academic year by making music together as we just did. And I'm so grateful to Professor William Weinert, who might have gone backstage, the Eastman Chorale and all the instrumentalists who led us in that communal perform performance, who did some extra preparations over summer too. So another round of applause for everybody who did that. I want to speak to you today about a feeling that I think of when I reflect on my time as a student here. One which was fundamental to my desire to return to work here, and it's a feeling that I hope you will carry with you throughout your studies and your work here. Joy. Beyond the hours spent chipping away at passages in the annex practice rooms or perfecting our performances and rehearsals, our pursuit of music is in service of something greater. Now that could be personal joy and satisfaction after a good performance, but it's also the joy we bring to each other as musical partners and the joy we bring to our audiences. While we know the processes to prepare for a degree recital, engage in meaningful research, or complete difficult assignments are often filled with bumps in the road, when I look back on it, joy is the prevailing feeling I have when I think of my time here, and it's what I hope to help each of you find even a moment of on a daily basis. When I first arrived at Eastman as a student, like many of you, I was eager to find my place, to forge connections that would shape my entire time here. But it wasn't long before I realized that this school is about more than individual successes. It's about the connections we build with one another, Ones that I can tell you from personal experience last a lifetime. The friendships, the mentorships, the collaborations, and the shared experiences are what make Eastman both a school and a community. Do you all know what it says on top of the outside of the Eastman Theater? Anybody know? Thank you for the enrichment of community life. That means this place was built to enrich others through the music that is made here. Today, I think of how that phrase relates to our communities both locally and globally. How will we uplift and inspire and move everyone who walks through our doors? And beyond that, how will we use our music, our artistry, and our scholarship to help shape communities across the world for years to come? These are the questions we get to continually ask and answer together, both here on Gibbs Street, Gibbs Street and with our fellow students and colleagues across this great University of Rochester. As a start, I'm gonna encourage you to reach out, invite people in, make them feel welcome. Let's not keep music to com confined to our campus. Let's bring it all over the university, the city, and beyond. It's an extraordinary time for Eastman, for the University of Rochester, and for the city of Rochester. And our art and how we choose to use it can deeply impact the lives of others. What we do here can be a model for the world. 
to our students, I know that the experiences you have here, and that wouldn't be possible without each of your individual contributions and perspectives, will inform the unique careers that you will have. And I'm confident that the world needs you to use your artistry, your artistry in ways that only you can. Artists have a unique role in society and really a very important responsibility. In times of joy, we go to music for celebration. In times of sadness, we provide comfort. And always, 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 we bring people together. The best of education is about planting seeds of creativity, of innovation, of compassion. I challenge each of you to think about what, will you, what you will do with those seeds. How will you nurture them? What will they grow into? I can't wait to see. This is also a time for you to meet your people. If you haven't met the people sitting in front or in back of you or on the side, please take a minute at the end to do that. Work with as many people as you can, explore different perspectives, forge new pathways together. These connections will be the foundation of your time at Eastman and the foundation of your life in music. Now, I want to admit something to you. It's probably not surprising that I have a lot of favorite places around our campus. Well, right here in Kilbourne Hall, or the stage in Kodak Hall, or the Horn Studio, where I was lucky to study with Professor Kirao, are definitely towards the top of the list. I'll admit to you that my very favorite place on our campus is the set of marble stairs that lead from the end of Lowry Hall down towards the basement instrument locker room. While this might seem like a strange pick, it's because it's where you can most feel the grooves in the marble staircase that have been made by the footsteps of all the people that have come before us. All of the students, the faculty and staff and community members that have shaped this place, and most importantly, I think about how all of you will add your own footsteps to those stairs to leave your individual impact and make our school ever better. I'm honored to help shape our next chapter together. Let's make this a year of connection, creativity, community, and joy. Thank you. Here's to a great year.